Hey everybody and welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's Dallin Wetzler with Lifestyle Power Sports and today we're going to be discussing how to switch out the drive sprockets on the drive shaft of your Polaris Axis chassis snowmobile. Keep in mind that the general principles do apply to all makes and models, but this is specifically for the 2020 Polaris Pro RMK that has the hex drive shaft. So let's go ahead and see what we've got. Alright, so here we are. We're going to take and switch out these stock drivers from the Polaris Axis. They're 2.86 pitch. We're going to take them and switch them out with these Avid drivers. These are the anti-ratchet drivers. They take and ride in the track more than just this single one. That way you're able to run your track a little bit looser and then uh, thus creating less rolling resistance. So let's go ahead and get started. In order to switch that out first, then you got to get, it's a six millimeter Allen. We're going to use an Allen socket to make it faster. You got to take and pull this collar off. I don't think you got to loosen it up too much. Or take it, break it free, slip it right off, nothing to it. That's going to allow us to take and slide these drivers off this way. If you go off this way, you got to pull your bearing off and pull this flange for that bearing as well. And so this way, we're just going to be able to push it this way. I've already calculated out my measurements that I need in order to put these in the correct spot. They're going to roughly sit like this so that these, these cogs can ride in the outer windows of that track. Okay, so your setup doesn't have to be anything too fancy. I just happen to have this electric over hydraulic press here. That's gonna make this so much easier for pressing this out. But as far as these plates go, you don't have to be real concerned. You just need to get them set, centered up a little bit so that you have more or as much of this driver driving on there as possible. I've got these two flat sides against the flat sides of these little plates here but you don't want them touching, otherwise those plates are gonna dig into your shaft and, and scrape along it. So just make sure that they're an eighth of an inch or so away from it, and you should be good to go. Just wanna do one driver at a time, or one plastic sprocket at a time. Ran out of length, so. Like I said, nothing too fancy. Just kind of whatever you got to make it work and press it straight. There's one. sure that whatever you do end up using to press this out with you don't end up damaging these splines here otherwise you're gonna have some problems when you try to go back together with your belt drive that's what the belt drive drives on there we go there's the drive shaft all right, so here's an important thing to keep in mind. This has six sides, there's seven cogs on the outside here. You can see that there's little dimple things. They take and match up with some of the dimples on this shaft. There are these little pieces that stick out. This one sticks out, this one doesn't, this one does. They line up with these. So as you're putting this on, you just need to make sure that you line those up and as you can see, my center's lined up, my outside is lined up right there. But if I took and rotated it around right here, my center is lined up right there, but my outside is not lined up. So keep that in mind. You don't want to screw up and put them on separate or not together. You want to make sure that they are together. Both of these cogs do go opposite of each other, though. 
so that this is on the outside here and this is on the outside just like that so just keep that in mind make sure that you have everything centered up I'm lined up in the middle but my outer drive lugs are not rotate it around I'm lined up once again in the middle and my outer drive lugs are as you can see so that's the way we want it to go Take it nice and slow, make sure you've got everything centered up good. You don't want to jam this shaft down into these plates. Okay, so since I already did my measurements before, I want to go seven and a quarter from the end of this drive or this shaft to the very center of the shaft is seven and a quarter. So, and then from the very center of the shaft, which is about where the edge of this is right now, I need to go four and three eighths onto either side. So, this one I actually went on a or haven't gone on quite far enough, and the same with this one. I need to just do them both a little bit more. just thought I'd throw this in here real quick. I just got finished pressing these drivers on. These drivers right here are the, they're three and a quarter wide Avid anti-ratchet drivers, I believe is what they are. And so I was just throwing this out there as a little tip. For these particular drivers, you can see that from the end of the shaft, where the shaft actually starts, where this glue glued in piece and the shaft meet, you're almost exactly two inches on either side. So that might help you out a little bit. If you're exactly two inches on either side, then that's gonna put you at eight and three quarters center to center, which as you come down here to the track and go from the center to center, you're eight and three quarters. So that goes to show that you're right on. I take and slip these drivers in place and they take and match up with the nubs perfectly on these drive points and then these go right in the windows so everything matches up perfect and just a quick little tip two inches from this seam to the driver is where you're going to want to be at on these or you can go from there it's going to because these these little drive lugs right here are three quarters of an inch wide so you're going to want to go two and three eighths to the very center of that lug from the end of this shaft hope that helps if you have any questions about this video feel free to hit us up or comment like and subscribe to our channel if you liked it and we'll see you next time and have an awesome season thanks